Hey, what's up everybody? BDF44 coming at you with another video. All right, so I am a uh, AMC ape as you guys know, and uh, I often come on here and I make my videos just telling people what I'm thinking on the day, and I'm gonna do that right now. This is absolutely no exception. It's a Saturday, there's nothing being traded right now, um, and that is quite all right. But, try to bite the phone off real quick, sorry about that. Uh, my thinking is this, man. You know, they're trying to wear us down as we talk about all the time, mentally. Um, they spent the entire week slowly dragging this thing down from a quick run-up uh, for which they promptly halted, uh, which then triggered it, sending it right back down as we've already discussed. And, you know, we're at 18 and some change right now at the end of the week after starting the week off at the top of the mountain. Uh, I think we were somewhere at like 30 or something like that, 30, around that area, 34. We had run up in that moment before the halt. And uh, been bleeding ever since. Ain't seen but maybe one green day since. And it wasn't much. Might have been a couple of fractions of a percent or something like that. So it's obvious uh, that everybody is, is feeling the, the roller coaster. You know, those who are involved in this play, even all of us, even the ones who've been here forever. That was a very um, challenging move that they hit us with. Just in general, that type of price action. Um, after being in this long, drawn out road where we hadn't seen nothing green for like eight months and then we get a green date and we have like so a nice little four or five days of uh, of nice green days and then they hit us with the bull crap so you know it's just one of those situations where uh, obviously it's it's illegal to give financial advice but if you're an ape uh the mentality at this point is to continue to fight that's what i'm here to say that's the word fight um these people are doubling tripling quadrupling down on their situation because they need to either see it all the way through or accept death, figurative death, of course. But they need to accept that or continue to double down, triple down, quadruple, quadruple down. It's like when you catch somebody in a line and decide to die on the line. You know what I mean? Even even when you present all the evidence in the world, their mouth is going to say that they're innocent, and they're gonna they're gonna stand on that even to a to a fault of their own. Um, and that's how I view what they're doing. A lot of people may say that they're doubling down because they are confident. That they can beat us, they can win, and, and maybe who knows? Confidence is, is, is can be delusional at times. But I think at the end of the day, what we need to be is confident as well, and uh, understand that we're doubling down and tripling down for the right reasons, while they're doubling down and tripling down for the wrong ones. They're trying to fight for the continuation of being able to cheat. They want to fight for the continuation to be able to uh, manipulate and and force people into various circumstances that they want them in, while continuing to line their own pockets. Uh, they're taking money out of everybody's hands and. You know, um, this is a way that we have to 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 consider in, in terms of, of trying our best to 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 even out the playing field. And so that's that's where my mindset is as I wake up this morning with this camera in my hand. Um, it's just telling everybody what I think about the need to react to the moments where you feel most frustrated uh, in this play with fight in action uh you know that's what i would do if i were in a financial position every time i feel my worst i'm buying a share every time i feel like ah it's taking so long i'm gonna panic buy that's what i'm going to do it's not because i think that's the wisest way to build your position it's not none of this is the wisest way to do anything what we're doing is taking a very very head first kamikaze approach to investing with the intention of not only building our wealth but also building a proper structured foundation within the stock market uh, that everyone everyone can get a fair shot both whale and retail can get a fair shot it, it, it massive amounts of gains and that is all I want if I get in the wrong play and it goes to the ground that's on me Without the manipulation, I just picked the wrong company. I just went with the wrong coin. Fine. I can live with a loss like that. But when I know, I know that I believe in what it is that I own, that the people on the other side of this thing are, are, are doing the wrong things with the numbers, are doing all kinds of illegal stuff with the numbers to control the clock, uh, to keep me from being able to capitalize and, and feel the success of my decision. You see what I'm saying? They're not only robbing you of the tangible stuff like money, 
but they're robbing you of the psychological successful mindset of choosing a company and seeing it flourish and knowing that you did the right thing. They take, they rob you of that. They rob you of that. They essentially take something that maybe is on the fence, not necessarily dying, but maybe it's not, not doing well. Maybe it's affected by the pandemic like AMC was. And they attack it. They attack it. They, they, they literally, like a bunch of piranhas, jump on it and try to run it down to the ground. Now, maybe that works in certain situations. I'm not saying that that shorting is, 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 is only bad. But when you push that into situations that otherwise shouldn't be shorted, now you're just going around erasing stuff that shouldn't be erased. It's like, it's like a, the, the functionality of an eraser. It only needs to erase what needs to be erased. Only the errored stuff, only what's not intended. When you have this shorting eraser going around the stock market, erasing everything, both mistakes and art, and important information, you know what I'm saying? Like, figuratively, of course. It's, it's erasing things that shouldn't be erased. Its functionality is, is, is doing the wrong thing. It's a vacuum that's starting to eat up the cloth on your floor. It's, it's, it's eating away at your carpet as, as opposed to just cleaning it. So that's, that's what is going on. We understand that. We recognize that the people who are doing this are doing it purposefully with ill intent. Um, and and, and it's, it's important that you fight the psychological warfare that they're waging against you. It's important to continue to fight yourself as it pertains to the fears of the circumstance keeping you from being as confident as they are when your intentions are good and theirs are, you know, whatever that is. So for me, I'm just looking at the situation now and I'm saying, okay, if I'm to throw something out there that concerns me, even though that's like a no-no, you're not supposed to speak on any concerns whatsoever. You're not supposed to promote your FUD. But I think this is an important statement because it can prepare us for that for what I perceive to be the, the very worst case scenario. And, and, and that is something that I don't want to be caught off guard by. That's my thing. I think the one part of my thesis or my, my little point of view on this is I pay attention the one thing that we're all assuming is going to just work out that I really do have wonders about is the part of the situation where the debtor the, the, the people the hedge funds are in debt with coming to collect what my FUD concern is my fear is is that those people will see the fruit and just simply not collecting. It's the cost of doing business. You trusted the hedge funds, those hedge funds cost you the money. Whatever the cost of this is, should be an accepted loss by those debtors in order to keep the system from which they work in place. Because of what we do works, they all suffer consequences that are not positive. Yes, the bad guys get vanquished, but they, they got to deal with a whole lot and they're going to lose a lot of money because of it. So maybe, maybe we can count on them collecting their debt from these, these, these hedge funds who have botched the situation and they've run up the price. But if everybody's in agreement that collecting the debt will destroy the system itself, then maybe they just shouldn't collect the debt. And I think that's the part that I haven't heard anybody give me a retort for, All right? I hear people saying, well, it's just automatic. It's going to do this done by computers. It's just, they're going to, they, well, yeah. Or they just turn all the lights off, <laughs> right? Or just turn off all the computers to say, all right, we can't find a solution for this. So we're just going to shut everything down for a while, which I kind of expect them to do. It's either that or give up hundreds of trillions of dollars. I mean, come on, you know, who's going to do that willingly without trying everything? So... As if anything, that's, that's what I'm going to share out there in terms of my only source of actual concern. Um, I, other than that, whether or not this is going to pop, whether or not this is going to happen, whether or not all that, uh, just, I just, I'm just in. I don't care. But the one thing I woke up this morning wondering about is what if those other guys on the other side say, you know what? Just keep the money, man. Keep the money. It's the cost of doing business. We must keep the system going. If me collecting that debt is going to make it so that we can never do another trade again. You know what I mean? We're all out of business. It's either collect my last check from you or, or you made a mistake 
we're going to live with that mistake. We'll absorb whatever that, that is somehow and, and, and just continue doing things as usual. Um, and, and then the SEC does nothing because they're clearly showing us that they will, they will blatantly do nothing in the face of retail. They will do nothing. <laughs> they will pretend to do as much as they think they need to. But as far as them actually holding these people accountable, if they were going to do that, they would suspend dark trading, dark pool trading altogether. Uh, they would have stopped. If, if they were really, if, if the SEC and all these guys were really serious about fixing this problem, they would have suspended all purchase in, of, of AMC. You wouldn't be able to even buy any more of that. Because we already know that the shares that they're selling are synthetic. So it gets, it's going to get to a point where it's going to be too much to pay for. If it's not there yet, it's going to get there. It's going to get to a point where you're going to have to pay apes over time, just like I've always suggested. Like, expect that as well. You know what I mean? If, especially if you plan on holding to a million dollars a share and stuff like that. If, it, if, it, if that is what happens, which I believe it could, I believe it could, there's not enough money in the world to pay that today. So they're going to have to uh, give you the IOUs and pay some of that over out in increments, which I honestly have no problem with. You can pay my my family for the next 400 years and make me very happy. I don't care about necessarily being the only person in, um, collecting the funds. I just want to make sure that it's credited to us, my last name. So um, that's that's where I stand on that. Everybody's different in that way, but I have no problem being paid out over time. Uh, but the thing about it is this. Um, I just want to find some sense of disarming that concern, that bit of foot, that what if the, the, the debt collectors just say you got it? You got it. Don't even worry about it. Like you would do your little brother when he said, I don't got no money. I can't pay you back. All right, fine, bro. It's just five bucks. Just keep it. That's what I'm worried about. Other than that, ain't no worries. And I'll tell you what happens for those who are saying, oh, you're pressing foot. Well, let me tell you what's going to happen if that happens. I'm going to hold my shares. For those who are wondering what happens if that happens, my shares stay in place. So don't, don't worry about me saying, oh, my God, I got to sell if. No, ain't no if. My shares belong to me. If somebody wants them take them from me. They have to pay for them with the price that I set. Not what it says on the on the, on the price target, on the price. Not, not what it says, you know, in the dark pool price, none of that. No. The price that I set for my property. That's that's what it costs. So if they don't want to pay that, then I'll just hold on to it and we'll just have useless shares all up and down my, my portfolio. No problem. If they're, if, if they're worthless, they're worth something to me and they're worth something to my apes. So that's where we're at with it. Anybody worrying about what I'm thinking, I'm holding so that's what it end buying. When money comes around, buying for sure. Any price. Any price. Because it can move from any price. And it will. It will. Heck, I'm one of those people and don't think we're gonna have a warning for the big event. I don't personally think that. I don't think we're gonna have a warning. I think that thing is gonna skyrocket from somewhere, anywhere. It could be a red day, five percent down middle of the day it could be 10 30 in the morning just boom like that. that's what i think is going to happen i don't think it's going to be some big huge to do i don't think you're going to see it on the numbers and then the ortex data is not going to tell us that the squeeze is imminent i don't think I, I don't believe that's the case i think this thing is going to be about as random as the return of christ i kid you not just overnight here it comes bam you're going to look up it's going to say 15 you're going to turn on your phone it's going to say something really 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 crazy that's what i expect to happen so you know, paying attention to the numbers, listening to YouTubers like myself, it only does but so much. At the end of the day, if you don't hit the sell button, you're still in the play. And if you hit the buy button, you're helping the play. That's it. That's what it is. And and you're going to lose money. Everybody gets a red day. We're not going to be in denial about um, taking losses. It's only a loss if you sell. But as far as you buying at a certain point and then someday seeing it lower than that, that's, that is what you're signing up for. <laughs> you're signing up for that. Know that. Unless you can find that the absolute bottom, which we know they're going to try to dig even lower than that if they can, um, you're going to you're going to face some red days. You are, and you're also going to be a part of the great squeeze, the biggest wealth transfer in the history of the world. And you ain't going to remember none of them dips, even the big ones. You ain't going to remember none of that volatility. You're not going to care. You're just going to thank your lucky stars or whatever you believe in that you had the mental fortitude to believe in something that you couldn't tangibly see, and because of that faith, you're going to be wealthier than everybody. So. That's what I got, man. That's what I got. And you're going to do a lot more good by getting wealthy, not just like some of the, the people who came before us who maimed, slaughtered, and cheated, and took. And... Nah, no, nah, you're going to do it in a way that your ancestors can be proud of. And so that's, that's the most beautiful aspect of this entire situation. We're doing good, and we're going to be rich because of it.
So that's what it is, man. My name is BDO44. I thank you all for watching. And I'm out.